Welcome to the New Hampshire Retirement System, Group 1, Employee and Teacher Summary Presentation for members vested prior to January 1 of 2012. During this general information program, members of all ages and in various stages of their career will be provided with information about the New Hampshire Retirement System, including an overview of NHRS as a defined benefit plan, service, early, disability, and vested deferred retirement, pre-retirement death benefits, benefit payment options, and other important information. During this general information presentation, we will cover retirement terms, what type of plan NHRS is, retirement benefits for active and retired members, death benefits, and deadlines you will need to follow when filing for benefits. The New Hampshire Retirement System is governed by statute. We have administrative rules that are promulgated by our Board of Trustees, and we have to adhere to the Internal Revenue Code. Here are some terms that you will need to know as we go through the presentation. Retirement. Retirement is not the same as your last day of employment. A member must meet certain filing deadlines and file their application for retirement with the New Hampshire Retirement System in order to be considered retired and to start collecting their pension. Vesting. A member will be considered vested with 10 years of creditable service with the New Hampshire Retirement System, or if they are working in an NHRS covered position at or beyond normal service retirement age, regardless of their years of creditable service. Once vested, the member has earned a right to a future benefit. Accumulated contributions is the money a member puts into the retirement system plus credited interest. It does not include the employer contributions. A member will be considered in service if both the member and the employer are actively contributing to the New Hampshire retirement system. Members may also be considered in service for certain benefits if they are on an FMLA or what's called the Family Medical Leave Act if they are collecting workers' compensation, or if they've been called to active military duty. Earnable compensation is the compensation used to calculate your average final compensation, or AFC. The definition of earnable compensation is different for members vested prior to January 1, 2012, and all other members. The retirement system is a defined benefit plan, which is much different than a defined contribution plan, such as a 403B or a 457 plan. With a defined benefit plan, once a member meets certain qualifications, they will be eligible to receive a lifetime pension. When calculating a lifetime pension, the retirement system looks at two factors. The first factor is service, or what the retirement system calls creditable service, and the second factor is salary, or average final compensation, AFC for short. A member's creditable service is their months and years of service credit that they earn as active contributing members. There are also provisions in the retirement system law that allow members to purchase service. Service credit purchases may include employer enrollment oversight, military, modifications, previously withdrawn, probationary or temporary, workers' compensation, or Peace Corps or AmeriCorps. When purchasing service credit, in most cases, a member must be in service. To calculate the cost of service credit purchases, a member must apply for a cost calculation with the New Hampshire Retirement System. The Retirement System will accept after-tax funds to purchase service credit and or a trustee-to-trustee -trustee transfer from a 403B tax-sheltered annuity or 457 governmental plan. A member's average final compensation is the average of their three highest paid years of NHRS covered employment. To calculate a year, the retirement system will not look at a fiscal year and they will not look at a calendar year. The retirement system will count back from the member's effective date of retirement in 12-month blocks. With the member's AFC, the retirement system takes into account the 150% earnings limitation. 
The 150% earnings limitation states that a member's final year of earnings cannot be more than 150% of the preceding year or more than 150% of the highest year used to calculate the member's AFC. Any funds over the 150% will not be added into the member's average final compensation. A member can retire at the age of 60, regardless of their years of membership service. When calculating a pension for a member who is between the ages of 60 to 64, the retirement system takes the member's AFC, divides it by 60, and then multiplies that by the member's creditable service that the member either earned through working or that they purchased. This formula will calculate the member's annual pension. In this benefit formula example, the member's AFC is $42,000. We divide that by 60, then multiply that by 30 years of creditable service. This member's annual pension will be $21,000. At age 65, Group 1 members will experience an approximate 10% reduction in their pension amount. The reduction will happen regardless of the member's effective date of retirement. To calculate a pension for members who are age 65 or older, the retirement system will take the member's AFC, divide that by 66, and then multiply that by the years of creditable service that the member either earned through working or that they purchased. This formula will calculate the member's annual pension. In this benefit formula example, this member's AFC is $42,000. We divide that by 66, then multiply that by 30 years of creditable service. This member's annual pension at age 65 or older will be $19,091. Once a member has at least 10 years of creditable service and is vested with the New Hampshire Retirement System, they may be eligible to retire between the ages of 50 to 59. Or, if a member has at least 20 years of creditable service with the New Hampshire Retirement System, and their age plus their years of service equals 70 or more, they can retire before the age of 50. If a member retires before the age of 60 under early retirement, their pension will be permanently reduced. The reduction is based on how many years before age 60 the member is looking to retire and how many years of creditable service that member has at retirement. Here is an example as to how the New Hampshire Retirement System calculates an early retirement reduction. In this example, we have a Group 1 member with 25 years of creditable service. The member would like to retire at the age of 55. The retirement system will take age 60, which is full retirement age, and subtract 55. The member will be retiring with five years of early retirement. The member has 25 years of creditable service. This will result in a 4% reduction for each year before age 60 the member would like to retire. The retirement system takes the five years of early retirement and multiplies that by 4%. This member will have a permanent 20% reduction in their pension amount in order to retire at the age of 55. The retirement system also offers what is known as vested deferred retirement. If a member has at least 10 years of creditable service with the New Hampshire retirement system and they are vested, they can terminate their NHRS covered position and as long as they do not withdraw their accumulated contributions, they may begin collecting their pension at age 60 or earlier under early retirement. The retirement system offers two types of disability retirement. The first is ordinary disability, which is a non-job related permanent incapacity. The incapacity can be either physical or mental. To qualify for ordinary disability, a member must have at least 10 years of creditable service with NHRS. The second is accidental disability, which is a job related permanent incapacity. Again, the incapacity can be either physical or mental. For accidental disability, there is no minimum service requirement to qualify. At retirement, a member may leave a post-retirement death benefit known as a survivorship option to a beneficiary. 
When choosing a survivorship option, the member is choosing to leave a lifetime pension to someone after they pass away. When choosing a beneficiary, a member may select any one person, or they may select multiple beneficiaries. However, when choosing multiple beneficiaries, they are restricted to choosing their children and or their spouse. A survivorship option will result in a reduced pension. The reduction is based on the member's age at retirement and the age of the primary beneficiary. Health insurance benefits for retired State of New Hampshire employees are administered by the New Hampshire Division of Administrative Services Risk Management Unit. Please contact the Division of Administrative Services at 603-271-1432 to discuss health insurance benefits. Any non-State of New Hampshire employees, by law, may elect health insurance coverage through their last NHRS employer at retirement. Contact your employer for details. Members who would like to work after retirement may work for any non-NHRS employer with no restrictions. They may not occupy an NHRS covered position and receive a pension at the same time. Members may work part-time for an NHRS employer. NHRS retirees working part-time for retirement system participating employers are restricted to working a maximum of 1,352 hours per calendar year. There is a financial penalty for any retirees exceeding the statutory limits on annual hours worked. If retirees exceed the 1,352-hour limit, they will lose the state annuity portion of their pension for 12 months. The state annuity portion is, on average, about 50% of the pension benefit, although it could be more or less. There is a 28-day separation from service. Retirees have to wait 28 days from their effective date of retirement before beginning work in a part-time capacity for an NHRS-covered employer. My account provides members with access to information such as account summaries and balances, beneficiary designations, contact information, and member annual statements. Members may also use the online estimator to calculate an estimate of future retirement benefits based on various scenarios, such as retirement date and survivorship options. Members using my account no longer have to submit a paper form to notify NHRS if they move, change their beneficiary, or even apply for retirement. Simply use the forms under the NHRS Online Forms link that will appear once you log into my account. When a member is approaching retirement, if that member is within three years of retirement, they may request a benefit estimate from the New Hampshire Retirement System. If that member is within one to two years of retirement, they may schedule a personal appointment with a benefit specialist at the Retirement System office. When a member is filing for retirement, they must file their application with the New Hampshire Retirement System office 30 to 90 days prior to the effective date of retirement. The member's effective date of retirement is always the first of a month. The member must also terminate their NHRS covered employment prior to the effective date of retirement. Members who are still working and have not yet retired may qualify for pre-retirement death benefits. There are two separate types of death benefits that a member may qualify for. The first is ordinary death or non-jaw related, and the second is accidental death or jaw related. A member must be in service to qualify for these benefits. The New Hampshire Retirement System must pay this benefit to whoever is listed on the member's beneficiary form. Please make sure that you have an updated beneficiary form on file with the New Hampshire Retirement System. The Retirement System offers a benefit, which is called pre-selection of a survivorship option, for those members who have reached their full retirement age but have not yet retired. When selecting a pre-selection of a survivorship option, the member is electing to leave a lifetime pension to a beneficiary if that member dies before applying for retirement. NHRS is here for you. We want you to stay in touch with us. Some of the best ways to do that are visit our website at www.nhrs.org for detailed information on retirement benefits, receive news updates and information with our group email list, NHRS email updates, connect with us on social media, Facebook, Twitter, YouTube, and LinkedIn. Thank you for listening to this presentation. 
please contact the New Hampshire Retirement System Office with any questions you may have.